You can support Retro Recollections on Patreon, just like these wonderful folks. Thank you for your support. For over a year now, I have been fascinated with the Sharp X68000 series of computers from Japan. After being introduced to them by friend of the channel, Gary, at an expo. Ah, uh, do you remember when we could go to those? So whilst researching, I came across the XM6 Type-G emulator. While exploring the game's catalogue, I have discovered that many games are available as hard disk images and the best packs seem to be in the HDS format, which is a SCSI hard disk image. This emulator has English menus and does support SCSI hard disk images with a bit of configuring. You will have to look for the hard disk images yourself, but I have included links to the emulator and other files you will need. Firstly, you will need to provide BIOS files. Most of these are in the public domain as Sharp did release them, but I believe the SCSI hard disk BIOS files might be proprietary and so may not be included in the BIOS packs you find. Again, if this is the case, you will need to look for them yourself. You will also need a floppy master disk image to configure the machine. Put all these files in the same folder as the XM6 executable. I am using the X64 version as I am on Windows 10. Run the emulator. If you have all the correct BIOS files, you should get a message regarding the SCSI drive. Click Continue. Mount the master disk floppy image and let it load. It may take a few seconds. Type in switch at the command prompt and press enter. Navigate to boot using the cursor keys, press enter and change this setting to SCSI 0. Press enter again, then navigate to the last entry in the menu and press enter. When prompted, press Y. You can now eject the disk image from the floppy drive. Go to the Tools menu and click Options. Here you can configure the emulator. Navigate to SXSI and make sure the drive parameter is set to zero. Then click on the entry for SCSI, click Internal and set this drive to one. A new entry should appear beneath and you can now click it to mount the HDS image of your choice. Another thing you may want to change is the system type in this menu. Certain games require different versions of the X68000, so you may need to play around with this. Also, configure your joystick in the Joystick tab if you have one. Click OK and then go to File and reset the emulator. If all has been done correctly, then the emulator should boot up your SCSI hard disk image. In this example, the games are stored in folders called Games. Navigate the folder using the cursor and enter to select. 
select the start.bat file and hit enter again to run it. That's it. The game should now load and you can experience stress-free game loading in the future and enjoy many games just like this one. Log off! Alive! Alive! Life off. Alive, alive. Alive, alive. Battle is Life off. Alive, alive. Life off. Alive, alive. Alive, alive. Battle of the Bacon.
I hope this was useful. I have provided links to my research and helpful forums that had this information. But if you have any questions, I will try to answer them in the comments. Thanks again, and until next time, bye-bye.